What's up, YouTube? This is James coming at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Blue Monday. I'm doing pretty good myself, even though it's the beginning of the work week. <laughs> you know, we got some days to knock back to get to Friday. And that's what I'm always looking forward to. You understand? I come across this story right here, and I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> I do not like what this lady right here is talking about. You understand? It's something straight out of communist China, you know, where they want to violate the rights, you know, of people in China, you know, and put a cap on or ceiling on how many children that a man and a woman can come together and make. Except in this situation right here, Blondie right here, you see before you, Alabama lawmaker responds to abortion ban with mandatory vasectomy bill. It always takes two to tangle. Okay, I can agree with it. It takes two to tangle. But what I don't agree with is you, Rolanda Harris, or Hollis. That's her name, Alabama Rep. Uh, Rolanda Harris. Hollis. That's her name. Rolanda Hollis introduced a mandatory vasectomy bill this week. Send the message that men should not be legislating what women do with their bodies okay well in case you didn't know which you may do Rolanda Miss Rolanda Hollis is that first of all okay woman was made for man not man made for woman you understand see this is how it is on the chain right here first the most high then Yahusha then man then woman then child okay see this is what you need to understand. See, this is the problem. We got too many people that's running wild and foul. You know, now I understand now that you you are in this uh, uh, politics and you, you feel like you got a little power and you can introduce this bill and you're wearing that blind wig and you think you got the power of that of your of white counterparts. You know what I mean? So let's just let's just put it like that. But you out of line. You are out of line. You don't tell no man. Let's get into this story right here. In response to last year's near total and temporary block abortion ban in Alabama, and state legislator has introduced a bill that would require a man to undergo a vasectomy at his own expense. Okay, get his nuts chopped, well, whatever little tubes or whatever chopped up in there. He got to pay for the shit. Within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third biological child, whichever comes first, okay? House Bill 238 introduced on Thursday by Rep. Rolanda Hollis, D notes, whatever, under existing, well, under existing law, there are no restrictions on the productive rights of men, Okay. And it shouldn't be no restrictions under, under the productive rights of men. Why should it be? You know? But to continue, the bill, Hollis says in a statement she shared with Yahoo Lifestyles, is meant to neutralize last year's abortion ban bill and sends the message that men should not be legislating, legislating what women do with their bodies. Further, she told... Uh, I guess that's AL.com. It always take two to tangle. We can't put all the responsibility on women. Men need to be responsible also. I agree with the responsibility as far as men need to be, you know, responsible, taking care of the responsibility. Oh, yeah. I under, yeah, I'm right with you on that, you know. But I digress. The online backlash was swift, of course with critics calling it wrong, sick and communistic. It is communistic, okay? Although plenty of supporters got her point and celebrated it, saying, ha, stay out of my uterus, and wahoo, whatever the hell wahoo means. But I'm telling you this, you ain't got no business talking like this. You ain't got no business, you know, uh, 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 passing, trying to get laws, proposing laws like this right here. You understand? Um... Uh, they want to talk all that shit about a woman's right, you know what I mean, about aborting a child and all this kind of stuff. What you have to realize is this. 
abortion is murder, okay? There's too many contraceptives in this country as it stands, in, in the free world, to if, you know, you don't want to have a child, hey, there's all the contra other ways to go around and do it. You can take contraceptives, you know, and not have a child. You can practice, you know, okay, wear protection. All those things right there. But so much to the point now, just to, for you to want to try to exercise what little power you got, Rolanda Hollis, you want to introduce little bills and shit talking about making a man uh, uh, get a vasectomy at 50 years old. And what? Who, who put you up to do some shit like this? This couldn't have came out of your mind. This could have came out of your mind. You you ain't no way in hell. Some one of them, some some of them white women, them feminists, put your ass up to do some shit like this. Okay, that's all this boils down to. That's what it boils down to. See, but I don't hear you talking about yeah. And so you are for abortion and shit. But like I said, at the moment of conception, you know, when a child, when 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 that when that that fetus that that uh when life starts to grow and that, that that baby is alive right there that that child's alive if it wasn't a live organism you see it could not grow it would not it wouldn't grow into to to what it is you know when it becomes a full baby see but you down with that murder in other words let's check out some of these uh these little hashtags or whatever you know what the hell is going on in alabama Alabama Democratic uh, Rolanda Hollis proposes a bill requiring men over 50 or over, I mean, or over to have a vasectomy or any male, any age. And their third child. This is Marlene Lauren. Okay. Hello, China. <laughs> See, I told you it's communism. What kind of shit is that? And a lot of a lot of y'all women out there shouldn't even stand for no shit like this because hell, if they think they can do this to a man, there's going to be some kind of flip, uh, a backlash that's going to come on women too in this country. They're going to be telling you that's what it's going to come down to. You can do what they want to do. Okay, communism is being pushed in Alabama and um, uh, VA test states. All right. Then you got um, Sean Ross. What a day in Alabama legislative. They say all politics. Hashtag all politics. Alabama Democrat proposes bill mandating all men have vasectomies at age of 50. And after the third yellow hay, what's that? Hayman News. Yellow Hammer News. Okay. Dot com Alabama. Okay. Whatever the heck that is. All right. Elise Acosta, right here, at Real Donald Trump. Hmm. Rolanda Harris is bringing a bill that would force men at the age of 50 to get a vasectomy. Democrats are sick. They violate everyone's rights to fulfill a sick agenda. Well, guess what? That's what Democrats and Republic Republicans do, because shit, a lot of them even... Well, who is it? I think it's uh, the Democrats, though, wanting to you know, disarm people here in this country. What's the agenda with that? Did you want to take people guns? Yeah. See, check that shit out. See? But to get into this next one right here, it says uh, uh, adorable Todd at what? Dig to V, whatever all that stuff is up there. But now Democrats wants to take away men's rights to choose life. All state uh, rep Rolanda Harris which is a Democrat, has introduced a mandatory vasectomy bill, okay? Then you got this Wahoo right here. It was Peg at, uh, whatever that, Dinbot, I don't know. They got some weird hashtag. I mean, you know, hashtags, whatever they, uh, identity, you know, whatever that is. But this is what Wahoo, this is Wahoo, under existing law, there are no restrictions on the reproductive rights of men. HB 238 filed, uh, well, filed by Rep. Rolanda Harris will require a man to undergo a vasectomy with the birth of his third biological, biological child, okay, within months of 50, or at his 50th birthday at his own expense. 
Well, they're just re they're just saying a lot of the stuff that we already covered. Okay, but down here it says Hollis responds to some of the outcry by including in her statement, many have seen the HB 238 as a, an outrageous overstep. Yet, year after year, the majority party continues to introduce new legislation that tries to dictate a woman's body and her re reproductive rights. We would view this as the same outrageous overstep in authority. <sighs> Look, the thing is, is this. Y'all want to talk that stuff about a woman's body and her, her rights. You know, see, if you was in one of those Mideastern countries, you would be getting set on fire for not even having a, 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 a boy. Okay, like you can, like them women over there in India can determine if they get pregnant. Well, I better have a boy because if I don't, my in-laws might get mad and set them on fire or some, some shit like that. That's crazy. And y'all over here talking shit like this. Safe abortion is a human right. You are a murderer. You see what I mean? Safe abortion, all this shit. Keep abortion legal. You see? I'm telling you, the most high coming down here with a vengeance. And all y'all asses are standing, you know, with these signs, you're going to feel his wrath. You think you're doing something now, but all you're doing is promoting the agenda of death. That's what you're doing. This is an agenda of death. See, this is something right here that needs to be left between a man and a woman. And it's just solely not her right in the first place. If, for example, uh, uh, she just, you know, gets pregnant. Well, she has a, a, a right in the first place to get pregnant or not. But look, just like they say, you never under any circumstances should ever put your hands on a woman by beating her. There's never should be any circumstances of, as far as I'm concerned, abortion. It is murder. It's murder. This just shows you how cold-hearted a lot of these people are. You know what I mean? It, it, it just don't make no damn sense. Y'all talking now, though. Okay, it goes on to say here, she added, just as I would turn to my doctor, over my state legislator to make recommendations when deciding whether or not to have a surgery or whether or not to take a certain type of medicine. It is my doctor with whom I or any of my loved ones should consult when it comes to making the incredibly difficult decision related to my personal reproductive rights. Yeah, they need to put your ass, they need to go ahead and take you you know, they need to take you, you know, out of a, you know, they need to dethrone your ass. Because you, you talking crazy as hell. I don't know who put you up, but you, you must be a feminist. You know, you, you must be a feminist or something. Who knows? See? And take that damn blind wig off too. Get that shit out your head. Maybe you'll start thinking a little clear. Sound like, look like to me you're trying to be somebody, you, you, you you're a self-hater and you want to be somebody that you ain't. See, y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I mean, in, I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. You know, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please remember people to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, and this is James, and I'm out. Peace.